mostly my subject matter is kind of dark. I mean, I'm, I'm going for something disturbing. Some people think it's kind of creepy, but you know, part of the what the fuck moment is like, what the fuck is that? And it's, got, and it's not going to be something cute or sweet. The WTF is an evolution from my first Ugly New Building series, the What the Fuck. I'm putting them on highways and highway interchanges, anywhere where traffic bottlenecks and people will be in their cars going by like two miles an hour and sitting there. So it's this captive audience and they won't get out of their car and they won't take it and then they'll be forced to see it. Well, this year I've evolved into this new strategy where I'm putting them up 20 yards up the exit ramp, that thing's gonna stay there for a year, you know? I'm pretty happy with this, because the ones I put up in New York, all of them are still there. The art I like is art that makes me question reality. Let me put it that way. The intent here is definitely to be provocative. Now that street art is, is so well known and all the different artists and what they do, and, and it, you know, it's, it's in people's consciousness, I feel like I can push it into more personal narratives or into you know, things that I want to explore. And I'm really interested in what I can do as an artist to you know, crack people open. Putting free anonymous art out in public is, you know, I'm, I'm addicted to it. These pieces, they're sort of puncturing the wall. So what is behind the surface of what we think is real? You know, a lot of the dark doings pieces would get noticed and then they get taken down either by supers or by people who collect street art. I'm trying to make these things look like real things are going on behind there. Those frames I put on will have the shadow whatever the light is. People will be like, whoa, for a second. I'm sort of exploring reality and, and what is real and what isn't. There's all sorts of dark stuff going on. Not all of it ugly, not all of it malign. It sort of comes from the punk rock ethos, you know, that I grew up with. That there's like a lot of beauty and ugliness or beauty and chaos or some sort of exploring uh, things below the surface. I just love the light here. I love the, uh, you know, the, the architecture, the sort of textures and, and the colors and such. It's just been a real pleasure for me to interact with it. I'm not really into the, you know, art form, art world. That, that's a separate universe. This is all rebellion against that stuff, you know, where it's all about money and branding and value of someone's career that is meaningless to a lot of us. It's a sort of dissonant, you know, noise that you get to be part of every day, which is what New York used to be like, you know, where, it was, and it's really good to make art, to have always to be kind of like, you know, off center by seeing all these opposites crashing into each other. But New York, it's really hard to find that now. This is the good stuff right here. It's like, I'm loving it. <laughs>When you go to a movie or you see a band and you're thinking about it the next day and you're still a little bit awake and looking at the world in a different way, that's what I want my work to do. I want people to see my stuff and go, what the fuck was that? And then keep their eyes open for a day or two and be looking for other stuff. If people are keeping their eyes open a little bit more, the, the world would be a more interesting place. Put it up and see if anyone notices. I'm not going to tell them we did it. So let's hope no one notices this. <laughs> That's about all I have to say about you know being old and doing street art.